Hey YouTube, it's me, Empress E, and I am back with the tea. My cardinal came to me yesterday, and y'all know cardinals represents uh, love. And then it's, it's, it also represents a moment of joy and sorrow when they come towards you. But it also means that something is coming within the next 12 days, uh, the next 12 uh the next 12 hours, 12 days, to a month, whatever. But it came to me yesterday and today, this morning, when I went out, I seen a bunch of crows. Usually crows are, to me, they messengers that some shit about to pop off or somebody into something that they ain't supposed to be doing, basically. That's, that's like a whole bunch of negative energy toward me. But when I see my crows, you know, I, I know like what some, get ready to expect something. You know what I'm saying? But... Penis, the name of the bird, penis, 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 whatever. These are the birds that came to me after seeing all the crows. Now, I don't know if y'all can see these birds on here, but this bird is beautiful. It's a red bird with black, ring, black wings. And that's the sound they make. So you will know that this is the uh this the male uh penis. And these birds usually come to me like they used to come to me like around the area of my job. Then I started seeing them around my house. But <clears throat> after I seen all them crows, I seen him. And he usually come to me too. This big and he, usually they small. The ones around my job is small, and I see them in groups flying around. The one that I see that comes around my house, he's a big one. He's a big, fat, greedy motherfucker, but he came and he flew past my car and he just kept flying past to just show me, you know, him, that just that, that he's there, that, you know, make sure that I seen him because I had just seen all them crows and I'm just like, oh, shit, you know what I'm saying? But these red birds with these black wings, they think that it's called Phoenix. Whatever, Phoenix, uh, Phoenix. It sounds like penis, but it's Phoenix. And it's spelled differently. I ain't even finna go into the spelling, but these birds represent good luck, pr protection, prosperity. And it's a it's it's an omen to let you know that you got a guardian angel looking after you. Now I put all my tarot cards up and on the floor this card was face down. This is the nine of pentacles, okay. The Nine of Pentacles indicate a time in your life when you are able to live your ideal lifestyle. This card denotes retirement, but it also can, uh, but any situation in which you have had enough prosperity in time to create your own schedule and enjoy leisure and enough experience and self-knowledge to know what you need and how you want to spend your time and live in accordance with your values. You are intelligent and successful, and you have luxury the luxury of enjoying the fruits of your accomplishments, particularly through lifestyle and through improving, beautifying, and enjoying the comforts of your home. So you guys might be switching some stuff up with your home, doing some home improvements. The Nine of Pentacles suggests that you are able to enjoy yourself. This might follow a period of lifetime of hard work, such as the Eight of Pentacles. So you can put in that work, it's time to reap the benefits of the seeds that you sown. You may be focused on enjoying the place and activities you already love rather than exploring new options right now. Be sure to clear with yourself about, be clear with yourself about your long time be sure to be clear with yourself about your long time is important to you that your alone time is important to you you are cultivating peace contentment within yourself and enjoying the well-deserved rest or are you actually generally distrustful of people and avoiding interactions particularly with these though with those outside of your social strata could challenge your world views the potential challenge of this car is loneliness so you know how you're feeling you know you could be feeling like you isolated, and I just did a reading on that, and then uh, I was just saying like, and I think I did it on my other page, but I, no, I did not post it on this page, but it's cool, but it's on my other page, and I was just talking about social anxiety and how I realized like, I don't have social anxiety, I just like being alone, you know, I feel like I can create more, I feel like I'm at peace. 
I have no problem with going out socializing with people, but I go and I socialize in moderation, you know. And if the energy is not right, I'm out of that bitch. You know what I'm saying? This garden represents refuse, rest, and relaxation in abundance. I found my refuse and my rest here, you know, in my home. And this snail represents the home on here. And this garden wall behind this person in this picture, it just represents safety and prote protections. The falcon represents leisure, refinement, like a trained bird represents discipline of the mind. So when my red winged bird come to me, that's just telling me you got guardian angels looking over you, protecting you. You know, you protect it as you know, your prosperity come in. You know, this is a lucky time for you. Remain focused, you know, remain disciplined to what it is that you're doing because, yes, you are under attack, but at the same time, you are protected. This castle in the back, all the way in the back, just represents that security, and this yellow sky represents consciousness and joy. Y'all, I had to break this down because I just didn't buy no tarot cards and start flipping them. I actually went through and learned, you know, what these cards really meant, and I just wanted to read this to you guys to show you guys that <laughs> stay in this energy i just did a couple of readings y'all do got somebody coming towards y'all and this person they they sit here about how they feel but at the same time this person is coming in sneaky energy and they connected to something dark and those crows represents that darkness that this person is connected to. You know, this person could be coming to you in the next 12 hours, 12 days, 12 months, whatever. But you're going to get a notification of this. This is just saying, stay true with you. What's coming in as far as this security and, and um, stability is it, you got it. You know, this snail shit could be moving in slow motion for me. Slow motion for me. Slow motion for me. Slow motion for me, moving slow motion for me. Mmm, I like it like that. She working that back. Don't know how to act. Oh, somebody like the way you work that back. But I'm just saying, look at. I pulled this out to put this back with the deck, y'all. It's a new star. Come on now. Come on now. These cards is just confirming these messages. Look. Whatever you create, whatever energy you in, stay in that energy. You got some shit that's shit finna get turbulent. And I've said this in a couple of readings. Somebody finna come and try to knock you off course. Or some energies that's coming in to try to knock you off course. Because you close to the finish line or whatever it is that you're trying to manifest. It's coming into fruition. Just know, believe, trust, continue to work hard towards that. Okay? And uh, I'm going to end this message right there. That was just a confirmation because, you know, I had just put two more messages out there and they probably ain't even downloaded yet. And I was just talking about them birds and how to be mindful and how people is just trying to work through, you know, low vibrational states of people that are, that's around you. And if you got that gut feeling and you know that something ain't right, then you know that something ain't right. Trust in your intuition real talk because it ain't lying to you. It ain't never lied. And we are all connected. And when you saying that, when you saying these signs and these synchronicities and numbers and the animals and um feathers, I've been I've been finding feathers, I've been having butterflies try to come in the house with me. It's just been all kind of stuff going on. But um pay attention to the signs. And um I'm gonna leave this right here. And I probably don't post another video until later today or tomorrow, or whatever. But um Y'all take care, be mindful, and I hope this is helpful to somebody. If you like the message, like, share, and subscribe to the channel. I'm Empress E with the T. Thank you guys for tuning in with me.